Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Neerja and today I'm going to discuss five underrated, underdiscussed mistakes that IMGs make that sometimes makes them go unmatched. The first one being poor communication and soft skills. A lot of courses and professional jobs in the United States value soft skills like good communication, leadership skills, and teamwork skills a lot. While we focus a lot on scores, CV, personal statement, this is a factor that often is ignored. This translates to two very important components of our application, one which is LORs, when you're not able to confidently express yourself during US clinical experience, your LORs are generic. And the second thing is you not being ranked high enough to match during the NRMP math cycle. So in my opinion, interpersonal communication should be worked on from the day one when you decide you want to pursue USMLE. Second would be personal statement. A lot of people describe what they did in their personal statement and when you're doing that, you're just repeating your experience section. Personal statement is meant to reflect your personality and what you are and how you became that. Your life story and how it translates to the doctor that you're going to be and how it shaped your preferences. So don't repeat your experience section in your personal statement. And second thing would be tailor your personal statement to the programs that you're applying to. While this may sound like a task when you're applying for hundreds of programs, if you can at least do that for the programs that you have signaled to, it would make a huge difference and would show very strong interest to these programs. Third thing would be overshooting your signals. Signals are very important and you should maximize your chances of getting interviews from signals. And the truth of being IMG is that a lot of highly academic programs with no track record of taking IMGs or where historically IMGs are lesser, statistical chance of you matching there are also less. So I would advise never overshooting your signals and majority of your signals should be in programs that are more attainable, the programs which you like and you fit well into. The fourth thing would be not highlighting your non-traditional path or diverse background. As IMGs, we come from countries, family backgrounds, cities that are so different and it definitely translates into our clinical experiences as a physician. When you're not making this part of your life a, a very important part of your CV, you're missing out on highlighting your unique things. This helps you stand out among thousands of applications. You could be a pilot, you could be a radio artist, you could be a singer. That makes you stand out among so many applications. And the last thing would be poor experience section. Experience section is a large chunk of your ERAS CV and it's often ignored. In the experience section, I've seen two major mistakes being made. One is not choosing the correct experiences. Your experience section should have a good mix of volunteer research, US clinical experience, or your non-traditional experience that made an impact on you. You also get to further categorize these experiences in the ones which were more meaningful to you or the ones which had deeper impact on you. So choose your experiences very well. The second would be the way you draft your sentences in your experiences. Three very quick tips. Use action words like led, facilitated, assisted, performed in your sentences. Keep your sentences very, very concise and brief. And the third thing, do not use passive structures. Very good example would be, I performed this procedure during my US clinical rotation. This procedure was performed by me during my US clinical experience. You can see the difference in the both sentences and the former sentence definitely makes a more impact. That's it for five mistakes that I've commonly seen among IMGs. Hope this helped you and best of luck for the next math cycle.